taking the bus. in the Toy Story lot, so I don't know if you guys saw our bus trip video, <laughs> Daddy. And um, it's another busy day. We have a fast pass for Star Tours later, but it's not for another hour and a half. So what are you going to do first? Splash Mountain! Splash, I don't know, there's no fast passes for Splash Mountain because it's pretty busy today. So I thought maybe, Allie told me a couple days ago that she had never seen Steamboat Willie. So there's a movie theater right here on Main Street. I play it's a bunch of the old original cartoons. So I thought it might be fun to go see Steve Mo Willie. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. it coming in to Main Street Cinema. Teddy, ask her for a ticket. Ticket, please. Mommy, give us a ticket. They're not funny. So there's her ticket right there. All right, we got our tickets. Come on, Teddy. Walk in all the way. And there's Steamboat Willie. You found it, Allie. So we're gonna walk on over there. <coughs> and here's Steamboat Willie. It's a round room, and the cartoons are playing. All the way around the room. Hi. There's six of them total. I'm blocked off with the curtain to keep the light and sound out. Way to get some lunch, and it is a very crowded, busy day. There are so many people, and the lines are really long. If you're coming on like, you know, right after Easter like this, I would definitely recommend getting here early and getting the max pass so you can get some fast passes fairly quickly. Our food, and we were just talking about how that up there used to be the people mover truck. But then they got rid of it, and then the kids were talking, and I thought they should tell you. Oh, what happened? The people mover, people weren't enjoying it, it was too slow. So they changed it to walk it logs, which you can go much faster, except it damaged the track, so nothing can go there anymore. So... And they shut it down. And they what? And they shut it down. They did shut it down, you're right. Is there anything you want to add? And that used to be like the, like the rocket ride, but now it's like the thing. Yeah, the Astro Orbiters used to be on the very top of where the people never was, way up there. Yay. But now it's just a decoration. What do, you, what do you think, if you were in charge of Disneyland, what would you put there? What kind of a ride? Maybe like a new Toy Story ride. A Toy Story ride? That might be really fun. What would, what would you put there, Malcolm? I don't know. Think about it. What about you, Teddy? What ride would you put there? Toy Story ride. Toy Story, what, what kind of Toy Story ride? Alien. An alien ride. I think that's a great idea since we're in Tomorrowland, right? Yeah. Do you like the green aliens? Yeah. Yeah. You're watching. He's watching you. He's been eating at Galactic Grill in Tomorrowland. The line was really long, so I just wanted to also recommend on really busy days like today to do mobile ordering, right, Ali? So that way you don't have to wait in line and you can spend all your time looking for a table. Because tables are really hard to find. There were people eating on like the walkways and the benches. There's a lot of people here today, huh, Teddy? <laughs> so, uh, mobile ordering for the way. So, the stormtroopers showed up. And I don't know if you can see Allie's right behind them there. She's so excited to see the stormtroopers. Star Wars Land Galaxy's Edge is about to open. So, we thought it might be fun to go inside of the launch bay because um, we've never actually been in the launch bay in Disneyland yet and we'll see if they have any cool things about the new land that's opening right Holly? There's launch bay it is a period of celebration the Star Wars saga lives oh no it's okay <laughs> the Star Wars saga lives on with new adventures set in the galaxy far far away here at launch bay 
discover the latest stories of the saga and feel the power of the force binding us together. Our journey begins with an awakening. Welcome to a new era. Dun, dun, dun. You are making the choices of what you want to look at. Also interact with some characters that you... Marvel of what Star Wars Land's gonna look like when it opens up. Malcolm said he found a BB-8 meet and greet area, but I don't know. There are a bunch of the droids back there, including BB-8. So it, it could be a droid meet. It could be a droid meet, because there's a bunch of other droids. It does look really cool. Good... Displays of all the different ships through the Star Wars universe, like the droid TIE fighter. The Republic attack gunship, Anakin Skywalker's Delta 7B interceptor, and he's actually in there with um, R2D2. That's really cool. And there's, I know, I don't know what that one's from either. Oh, it's a Tri Fighter. I didn't think it looked like a Tie Fighter. It's a Tri Fighter. It's a Separatist Droid Starfighter. Oh, from the Clone Wars. So it's a Clone Wars ship. And then there's more over here, some of the larger ships too. An Alderaan cruiser. Ooh, look, is this Luke? I am BB-8 It's the Resistance X-Wing, yeah. Oh, you're right though, it's BB-8 though. Luke didn't fly that. The U-Wing gunship, the B-Wing starfighter, and then of course, the flight suit. Which is really cool. What does a plane do? What is a flight suit? It's what they wear when they're in the spaceships flying. <laughs> Look, Teddy, what's that? And the Death Star. You don't know what the Death Star has a Disney pen with the symbol on it. I didn't know it was Star Wars. Did you know it was Star Wars? No, I wonder what it's what it's for. Star Destroyer. Stop it! I'm done with And I don't know where his symbol was. It's Bobo Fat. And the slave won. So maybe the symbol has to do with the bounty hunters from Star Wars, right? Oh, it's from the upcoming movie. Uh, like a kid area back here where there's like the Lego Star Wars games. And then they actually have Legos to play with. Teddy's like in heaven. He's super, super excited. Teddy found something to play with. Let's go see what he found. All right, so the tablets all have Star Wars Angry Birds on it. Which Teddy's pretty good at. He does play it. He has played it before. He likes it a lot. Oh no! So the park is crowded, but inside the Star Wars launch bay, there's hardly anybody in here. And it's cool, and it's air conditioned. I think this is a great place to like avoid the crowds. What are you making, Ellie? I don't know. You don't know yet? They're like little Legos, aren't they? Allie, who are you looking for? It's Chewbacca. Is Chewbacca somewhere in here? He's yeah. in that room over there. Is he over this way? Let's hear. Oh, look, it's Luke with this lightsaber. Is that the actual lightsaber from the movie? No. No, you sure? And then there's a bunch of these helmets. Pose helmets. The beans. I want that. It's possible to make a real lightsaber, except it has a sort of timer on it because it's so hot it could break your steel, except it burns out and then you have to make a new one. Do you think you could make it right now, or do you have to get special stuff for it? You need special stuff. Is it stuff you could just buy, like, on Amazon? I don't know. I, yeah. don't, I don't remember. I, I watched the video about it a long time ago. Did you? So somebody actually made a real lightsaber? Yeah. That's super cool. Groups, how are you all today? Malcolm told me he can make a real lightsaber. You can make a lightsaber? Yeah. <laughs> Malcolm told me that. Wait, See, that's the kind of skills we need. The resistance. <laughs> Have you thought about joining our side instead of <laughs> the, uh, instead Teddy. of the other? <laughs> yes. Teddy. Teddy. <laughs> Teddy. 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 Teddy
said he's tough. He's also showing off his skills for the uh, resistance as well. I'm not sure he's part of the resistance. Uh oh. <laughs> Are you trying to decide between the dark side and the light side? Yeah. What are you, Daddy? Teddy? Are you dark side or light side? Please get him off. I know the dark side often says they have cookies. <laughs> Oh, what's better than cookies? My friend Haley will tell you what's, what is better, than what's better than cookies. Churros. <gasps> churros is the, does the good side, the light chocolate. side have churros? Chocolate. <gasps> chocolate. She loves chocolate. We keep a lot of Absolutely. Almost our turn. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Ten, seven, and hey, do you know who we're gonna go meet now? Yeah. Who? Doug Pedro. <gasps> we're gonna see Doug Peter. You. Are you a member of the dark side? Yeah. So are you coming here to inquire about learning more things? Yeah. You want to learn? What kind of things would you like to learn? I don't know. You want to learn how to use the force? The dark side of the force. Well, if you start thinking of your questions, I'm sure Darth Vader would be lovely to answer. He does know a lot. I'm so glad they have buttons all in here. Buttons! It helps them wait in line. <laughs> Teddy, you're what? red. Nope. How did you turn red? Head lift up. Oh, you're red too. Besides, I sense you are a young Jedi. Who is your master? Who trained you, buddy? Who trained you? I will uncover the truth soon enough. Until then, <laughs> I will be watching. I foresee great things for you. Will you join me and discover your true power? You are wise beyond your years. Most impressive. This will serve you well. The Force is strong with you. Perhaps one day you will command it. You will see, young Jedi. So we're hanging out in the store and I just realized Allie put her ears on on top of the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge hat. It actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> You're tricky. You were tricky. Malcolm really wants to get the hat though, so how much does it cost? $28. $28? Uh, is it $27.99 or $28? $27.99. Okay. Some Star Wars glow ears. Look at them glow. Those are actually really cool. It's like a space battle. What's the best way to wrap up our Star Wars day at Disneyland? Ride what? Like, like, riding Star Tours. By riding Star Tours? Yeah. You mean right there? <laughs> All right, let's go. Is it C-3PO, Malcolm? I suggest we run a diagnostic of the fear of defenses. Better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. It's hard to items be safely stowed beneath your seats. To fasten your restraint, watch your children. Para su seguridad, permanezcan sentados con el cinturón de seguridad ajustado y cuiden a los pequeñitos. Do not put on your black glasses until maybe you'll get lucky and you'll be the rebel spy. Oh, or maybe it'll be Ali. Oh, Teddy, you totally look like a rebel spy. <laughs> That's funny. You look like I have a mustache. <gasps> Here we go. I'm not allowed to film on the ride though, so. Bye. Bye.
theme park duck. Is this majestic duck again? Yeah. Does he look majestic? Hello, duck. Yeah. Run away. We dropped our hats off at um, Disney Showcase, which is a store right at the end of Main Street because they do embroidery there. Um, the kids both got Star Wars Galaxy's Edge um, baseball caps. And they're gonna embroider their names on them and the date for when Star Wars Land opens on the back of them um, to make it super cool and special. Um, if you didn't know, they embroider almost anything. If you bring it there, all you have to do is keep your receipt. They will embroider hats, towels, aprons, shirt, I mean, I think shirts. Um, so anything that can be embroidered, they pretty much do there. Um, and it doesn't take very long. I think we only have to wait, like, um, I think it was about 45 minutes for the hats to be ready. So we went over to Moments of Mr. Lincoln, and we got to see, what did we get to see? Aladdin, the new one that's coming out. Yeah, we got a sneak peek. A sneak peek for the new Aladdin movie that's coming out next month. It was really cool. So in the area where you wait to go see the sneak preview, there's that magic carpet from the movie, which is really cool to see, right, Ellie? Yeah. And the costumes, that's right. Here's um, a dress that Jasmine wears in the movie. And her jewelry. And Allie pointed out earlier, even her super pretty shoes. Aren't those gorgeous? And what else, Allie? And here's the Prince Ali costume for Aladdin. Including, as Allie pointed out, elf shoes. He wears elf shoes. Right, Ellie? The, look what I got. It was twenty dollars. Yeah, you said your money to get him, huh? Because we're doing a Star Wars day. <laughs> and the most important, the lamp, which was in the movie. I want to love it. I know. Don't you really want to touch it, don't you? I'm sorry if you come here and there's fingerprints all over this case. It's from my children. <laughs> Show me your hats. What did we have done to them? All right, Ollie's first. It has Ollie's name on the side of it, her whole name though. And the back, show me the back. It's the date that Star Wars Land opens here in California. Malcolm, you want to show me yours? So Malcolm has the same thing. The date's on the back and the side has his name there. Do you guys love your hat? Teddy likes the hat too. He's like, whoa, I don't think Teddy paid attention when we picked them up. He had no idea what we were doing this whole time. He's off in Teddy World. So do you guys like your hats? Yeah. Yeah? And your porg? Yeah. 